Greetings family in Christ. For today's devotion, let us turn to 1 Peter chapter 2 verses 4 to 8. 1 Peter chapter 2 verses 4 to 8. And I'm reading from the New King James Version. It says, Coming to him as to a living stone, rejected indeed by men, but chosen by God and precious, you also as living stones are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Therefore it is also contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he who believes on him will by no means be put to shame. Therefore to you who believe, he is precious. But to those who are disobedient, it says, the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. They stumble, being disobedient to the word to which they also were appointed. Now this scripture describes Jesus Christ as two things, as precious and as an offense. As precious and as an offense. Now to say something as precious means that it is of great value, high price, very important, and you do not want to lose it. It should not be wasted or used without care. For something to be precious means that it is greatly loved and treasured. Now on the other hand, to say that something is an offense means that it causes feelings of anger, hate, being displeased, upset and outrage. An offense means to offend and to upset someone by something that was done or said. Now these are totally opposite from one another. Now the scripture says that to us who believe Jesus is precious. To us he is of great value, of high price if we look at the high, high price he paid for us on the cross. To us he is very important and we do not want to lose him and we do not want to be lost without him. He is precious to us because he is not something common or plain, but he is greatly loved and treasured by us. He is precious to us. But to those who do not believe, Jesus is not precious. Jesus is an offense to them. Jesus is an offense because they are offended by his words and by his actions. In their lost state, Jesus is an offense to them because what he has said angers them and upsets them and his very offer of salvation is an offense to them. But to us who believe, he is precious. Now there's the story about John Newton. Years after he was saved and well advanced in years, he needed an assistant to stand next to him at the pulpit on Sundays. And one Sunday in his message, he repeated the sentence, Jesus Christ is precious. His helper whispered to him and said, But you have already said that twice. John Newton turned to his helper and said, Yes, I have said it twice and I'm going to say it again. Jesus Christ is precious. To us who believe, to us who are believers, washed in the blood of the Lamb and born again, Jesus Christ is precious to us. Let our very lives, words, actions and attitude speak of how precious Jesus Christ is to us. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Father, he is precious to you and he is precious to us. Lord, we pray that our lives will show how important you are to us, of what great value you are to us, how greatly we love you and how much we treasure you. Lord, we pray this for your glory and your honor. In Jesus' name, amen.